Hello and welcome to my channel. Here I review new movies and try to release a new review every day from Monday to Friday. Today's movie, White Noise, was written and directed by Noah Baumbach. It was adapted from the novel by Don DeLillo and stars Adam Driver, Greta Gerwig, and Don Cheadle. The film dramatizes a contemporary American family's attempts to deal with, with the mundane conflicts of everyday life while grappling with the universal mysteries of love, death, and the possibilities of happiness in an uncertain world. I'll start in the most honest way I know how. I hated this movie. I found it pretentious and boring. There were scenes where I was invested because the acting, cinematography, and soundtrack came together to create cinematic moments, but the story as a whole just felt disconnected and meaningless. It jumps around from event to event with nothing to connect the events other than the characters involved. The first 40 minutes of the film are about a college professor living like a local rock star and pontificating on the meaning of life. Then there are 30 minutes of a disaster story before jumping into an hour of mystery thriller involving the professor's wife. The entire film is filled to the brim with social commentary, allegories, and metaphors that try to beat you over the head with how clever they are. The characters all feel like mouthpieces for the author and not individual characters. During the entire movie, each and every one of them speaks in prose, at breakneck speeds, and each conversation feels more like a whirlwind than an exchange of ideas. There are no jokes, only absurd statements and actions that are supposed to make you laugh. They're mildly humorous, even if you are into absurdism. It's exhausting, and yet each bit of dialogue is spoken like it's the most important line in the film, only for half of it to be completely and utterly pointless. To top it off, the film doesn't have a central conflict or narrative to keep you invested. The cast does an incredible job of making their performances interesting to watch even if you don't know what's going on. There are a lot of similarities between the characters, especially in how they speak, but each actor tries to bring a unique aspect to their character. Adam Driver plays Jack, the father of the family and a professor of Hitler studies at his local college. He's a bit aloof and faint-hearted, but loves his wife and kids, and would do anything for them. Driver nails the monologues and emotions, and is captivating during his time on screen. Don Cheadle plays Murray, another professor working alongside Jack at the college. He wants to start up a department studying Elvis, and has an obsession with violence. Cheadle thrives on the witty banner, and plays up the weird and eccentric nature of his character well. Greta Gerwig plays Babette, the wife of Jack and a yoga instructor. She's a curious woman who goes through a lot over the course of the film. Her condition deteriorates and Gerwig does well with the emotional scenes, maintaining a fine balance between the dialogue and emotion. The production side of the film is high quality, and there are a number of scenes in this film that are interesting to watch, and seem leagues above the rest of the film in terms of quality. The scene of Cheadle and Driver monologuing, the scene of Driver lying awake in bed, and the scenes revolving around the disaster were all a lot of fun to watch. The film captures the moods of those scenes, and translates them perfectly into the cinematography and soundtrack, leading to big cinematic moments. Outside of these scenes, the production tends to be well done, but kind of mundane. The music is just filler noise that sounds pleasant but doesn't do much from a storytelling perspective, and the visuals are standard shots of people talking and reacting. In terms of quality, the film's credit scene is the best scene in the film. It has a long choreographed dance number set to a catchy song. It's a lot of fun to watch and groove out to. And it signals the end of the film, which means you finally get to do something worthwhile with your time. White Noise is a long and pretentious film that wants to deliver a lot of social commentaries but doesn't have anything to tie the ideas together, and frankly doesn't have anything of value to say. The film feels like a visual recreation of a snob's diary in which he embellishes his life's events into dramatic affairs while pontificating on the meaning of life. 6 out of 10. 